The CSGO market has been pretty unreal lately. With Steam shutting down Steam confirmations for hours on end, it's caused prices to go absolutely ballistic, whether it be in the recoil case, other cases, or just random skins across the Steam market. So today, I'm going to go over why this happened, if it'll happen again, and all that good stuff. So as always, if you guys do enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And just before we get into it, check out this quick pre-roll from the sponsor Skins Monkey on how to get a free $5 trading your CSGO skins. Hi you! Yes, you! Would you like to get $5 for free for your first trade? Just use skinsmonkey.com and get your extra skins. See the description below to enjoy the special promotion and receive 5% cashback for trading your CSGO skins. Okay, so first off, let's just discuss why this has been happening. It seems to be tied in with Steam's normal maintenance updates, which always release on Tuesdays in North America, and it spanned throughout Wednesday both times this happened, most recently lasting 15 hours. Note that during this time, you can't send trade offers because you aren't able to confirm anything on the mobile authenticator, which means you also aren't able to list anything on the market. So every economic aspect of steam and csgo trading especially is just completely halted for an unknown period of time by valve who of course will never comment on this whole situation now this is a pretty big deal as no third party site can run during this as well obviously they can't trade any skins they can't confirm any trades trading sites are of course shut down temporarily as well alongside marketplace sites it's pretty rough to just be hit with this out of nowhere, and the results of it are shown on the Steam market when we see these massive price hikes that occur in just a few hours that there's an inability to list new skins on the market and only buy ones that were already listed on the market. People will pay obscene amounts over normal market value to get the item they want, so is there any way to profit or benefit from this situation in just any way at all? Well, technically, you could just list a skin or cases you've been wanting to get rid of at a higher price than they are listed at the Steam market right now and profit like that, but it's not exactly that simple. This has happened twice already. Once again, both on Tuesdays where Steam goes through weekly maintenance, so one would like to assume that Valve is going to get their stuff together and not allow the entire economic ecosystem of Steam to go down for many hours on end because people are not very happy about it. I mean, people buy and sell skins for literally a living, so 15 hours of not being able to do that is pretty significant. So, in theory, you could try listing whatever you want on the market at a higher price, hoping for your item to spike up if this happens again, but don't expect anything crazy to happen. It's highly unlikely all the stars align for any significant profit to be made off this. I mean, you have to have really specific items, you have to get lucky with someone buying it, you have to get lucky with Valve even allowing this to happen again. There's a lot of puzzle pieces that have to come together. But yeah, just to kind of go on another tangent and look at the case market for a brief second, the Broken Fang case is almost at new all-time high prices. It's slowly climbing up to that point and shows no signs of stopping right now. The Breakout case hit $4 yesterday, which is absolutely ridiculous and just shows how strong the case market is and I hope this continues. I really don't think there's going to be any CS update to just absolutely halt the case market and stop all gains anytime soon. An operation at this point seems like it's a few months out at least. CSGO devs have only talked about adding a sticker capsule alongside the 10th anniversary update, so although everything may seem a bit boring, hey, at least the case market and really the entire CSGO market is doing well price-wise. And the final thing, since I know people are going to ask, I don't think Steam Mobile confirmations getting messed up for such a long period of time has anything to do with Valve changing how market transactions are going to work. Like, I don't suddenly think they're going to remove the 7-day trade hold or something ridiculous as much as I would like that hope that would happen. It just seems like Valve is doing Valve things and messing a hundred different things up in whatever way they decide to update Steam every Tuesday. And hopefully it doesn't happen again next week because it's an absolute pain. Third time's the charm, hopefully this thing just absolutely disappears. And hopefully the Antwerp capsules disappear from the CSGO store as well because those things have been in game for a while. But hopefully next week at the very latest, if they're not gone by tomorrow, that's all I'm hoping for. If they go on past that, I am gonna not be a happy camper. But yeah, either way, besides all that, I think that is gonna wrap it up for this video. So as always, if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And of course, check out Skins Monkey for that free $5 bonus as well. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.